Hello and for this video we're going to look at creating um, forms in databases. Now in your exam you may be asked to create a form. Okay, and the way you do it is pretty much the same way as you would with the wizard. So, right, um, sorry, sorry about that, I had to pause the video there to get rid of that warning box, it takes forever. Right, so, now the way you create a form is you, um, first of all, you need to create the form, then they're going to ask you to export that form. So you go to create, and you can go to form wizard. Okay, so here obviously you can choose from the queries or your table, so I'm going to choose this query here. Now I'm going to move all the fields over, go to next, you can see it's the same way as you create a report. Now there's different layouts, so um, you can choose any of these. Justified would be one record per form here, and I think it would be the same with a columnar. Um, I would personally always choose the data sheet view. Now, the reason for that is, is because they're probably going to ask you to actually export the form and make it look like a table in Word. So go with the data sheet. Next. And then you can see it's created here and finish. Okay, so here's your form. Kind of looks like a report, really. Okay, now um, I'm going to show you the different types of forms and what we can do. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to go back to create. So go to Form Wizard. So you've got an idea of what the forms are. And I'm going to select Justified here. So when I go next, I finish. And you can see here, this is all set out as a form. Now, if you scroll through, you can see each record that goes through your form here, where previously, with the other one that we created, the first one here, you can see that it's, everything is here is, is on one thing, and it looks like basically a database. Right, so we're going to close this here, and um, we're going to export this. So go to external data and you'll choose every time a text file so text file and then what we're going to pick up is so we can see that i've already clicked on forms here but if i wanted to choose say something else i'm going to say choose the second one here then text file and you can see that i've chosen the second form press ok and then you can choose what you want i would save it as Windows um, default, press OK and close. So now this has gone and saved into my documents. So I'm going to look for it in my documents here. See, I've got lots and lots here. So what I might do is actually type in extreme. There we go, extreme act or activities. Here it is, it's a text file. And you can see that it's here as a text file and it kind of looks messy, really. Okay, because that's the second one, the form that I picked, that's why I told you to pick the data sheet view. So if I choose the data sheet view one and select it as a text file, press OK, and Windows default, here we go. And I'm going to look for it, so it's extreme outdoor activities. Here we are. There we go, you can see it's a text file here. Okay, right, so that's how we, ex um, we export it, but what we really want it is, is not necessarily a text file, it's probably better as a rich, as a Word document, so we're gonna try this again. Right, now, I'm going to choose this, I'm gonna to go to more, and I'm gonna do it as a Word, as a rich text format this time. Okay, so let's see how this works. So, browse, this time I'm going to basically be careful where I save it so I don't have to look for it. So I'm going to go to Documents and I'm going to save it to my Year 11 folder because that's where all my um, stuff is. Actually, I'll put it in Word Training. There we go. Okay, so it's Extreme Outdoor Activities RTF. Save. Now, this one will go much more smoothly. So I'm going to go down here. So my documents, I'm 
and put in word training file because that's just where it goes okay and there it is now this is going to look a lot better here we are it's opening up as a word document rather than a text document and that looks so much better already okay it's obviously quite a big document and you can see that it's um how it's saved here but obviously if we go to um layout orientation and select landscape go to see yeah a lot better but you may need to resize your, your table obviously your tables aren't going to be this big so you can see now this how this works and this can be basically put into any document right so what if this comes up in your exam let's look at an example right so here we go you can see here um right actually just in case this takes um a while i'm going to stop the video here so click on um database forms part two where i'm going to go through the exam question without the time running out